Hello children. Today when I woke up it was really sunny so I decided it was a great day to make a sundial. So we've spent the day watching shadows form in our garden and I'm going to show you how to make a sundial because I think we're going to have a sunny half term week and you might like to try it too. Now the children in year three might remember what a shadow is because we learnt about it recently at school. A shadow is the dark area that forms when a light is blocked by an opaque object. An opaque object is something that doesn't let the light go through. So today we've used one of our colouring pencils. Let me show you what we did. Okay, to set up your sundial, place a pencil and some blue tack on a piece of paper. You need to find the sunniest place in your garden and you need to be able to leave it here all day. So I've used a stone here to make sure the paper doesn't blow away throughout the day. So choose the sunniest place, put your pencil in, and as the day goes on you're going to mark the shadows. Now the next part of the video you're going to see what happened to the sundial we made in our garden. Emily's just drawing a line where the shadow is. You've got to make sure your line with your felt tip is exactly same length as the real shadow and we're writing down the time so it's half past nine in the morning okay make sure your, your line is exactly the same as the shadow it's half past ten now and the shadows moved quite a bit already Emily's drawing a new line on top of the shadow and writing 10.30 look the shadow's got a bit shorter as well move positions and it's got shorter We'll come back again at half past 11. Okay, it's so half past 11 in the morning now. So we're tracing over the shadow again. Right, 11.30, making a note of the time each time we draw the shadow. So the shadow's moved again and it's got shorter. We'll come back again at half past 12. So it's half past 12 now at lunchtime. The shadow's moved around again. Let's write the time down, trace the shadow, and the shadow stayed shorter again. We'll see you again in an hour. Okay, it's half past one now. Drawing the next line, show the next shadow. It's moved again, but it's staying about the same size at the moment. We'll try again in an hour. It's now 2.30, so we're going to draw another line and make sure we write down the time again. And we'll come back in an hour for 3.30. Okay, it's half past three now. Shadows started to get a bit longer. Just drawing over the shadow again. So, a longer shadow again. <laughs> Let's see what happens later. Okay, so it's half past four now. The shadow's got a lot longer again. So we're just drawing in the line for the shadow. We've had to add an extra piece of paper because the shadow's got so long. So look, 4.30 and the shadow's nearly opposite where the shadow was at 9.30 this morning. And the shadow's got longer again. The sun's soon going to disappear over my house, so our experiment will probably end on this measurement now. So, at the end of the day, this is what our sundial looks like. We've got all the markings we've made as the day goes on. This was 9.30 in the morning, and as the day's gone on, the shadow moved around the page. And this was when we stopped at 4.30 in the afternoon. 4.30 in the afternoon is when the sun disappeared from our garden and went behind the house. Now, what you'll notice is firstly that the shadow moved. It moved because the sun was in a different position in the sky. Now, those of us that are in year five will have done the topic in science on Earth and space and will know that it's not the sun that moves in the sky the sun changes its position because the earth spins and the earth spins every day that's what gives us the night and the daytime 
and that's why the sun looks like it moves but remember it's not the sun that moves it's planet earth that's spinning now the other thing if we have another look is that as well as the as well as the shadows moving the shadows also got shorter in the middle of the day okay so the length of the shadow at 9 30 10 30 11 30 by lunchtime in the middle here the shadow was a lot smaller now the reason for the shadows being shorter in the middle of the day is because the sun at lunchtime midday is directly overhead and that produces a shorter shadow first thing in the morning and in the evening the sun is at a position where it's lower in the sky and that produces the longer shadows so why is this a sundial well a sundial helps us tell the time so by using the science of shadows and the way the sun changes its position in the sky we can tell the time of day it is by the position and shape of shadows. So long, long, long before we had clocks and watches, people in ancient civilizations used to tell the time in the way we've done today, by using a sundial. If I were to set this up again tomorrow, I would see the same pattern of shadows occurring throughout the day. So I would be able to tell exactly what time of day it is, depending on where the shadow is, and the size of the shadow. So now it's your turn. Make a sundown in your garden when it's next sunny. Set it up, spend the day watching the shadows and marking them down and recording the times too. And then you'll have made your own clock. Have fun. Bye bye.